Ferocious wildfires engulfing homes and businesses in Southern California. Early estimates of damage in the tens of millions of dollars. Sadly, this isn't the first time we've seen this. Is the only way to avoid seeing it again to keep folks from moving in these hot spots in the first place. Tracy? You know, it's unfortunate because our country is so beautiful and we want to be able to live in all parts of it in the hills and on the water, but there's natural disasters that keep happening and we keep paying for them. And I, I, I think it's really silly that we keep rebuilding in places that keep getting hurt. And again, insurance premiums, we've been talking about this, they just keep going up because of what's happening. So I think there's a conversation to be had here about whether or not it is smart to rebuild in these places. Well, John, should you pay more for the privilege of living in these high risk areas? Yes, I think you should. I, I live in a hurricane zone out here in the middle of the Atlantic in Bermuda. I, I love this place. That's the reason I live here. But I also have a house that's reinforced for hurricane strength winds, uh, a roof the same, and the house pays a higher insurance premium. Uh, if something were to happen, uh, I would rebuild and probably still live here. I think people should have that choice. I also think that people that live in natural disasters, you can't prepare for fire and tornadoes uh, like you can for a hurricane. I think they should uh, have, be mandated that they do have house insurance so there's not a federal bailout. Okay, Bernard, weigh in on this. Yeah, I mean, I, I actually agree. I think that it's tragic, obviously, but I think the market should dictate what happens. And I think that higher insurance premiums, I think that user fees, I think that, unfortunately, these families that suffer uh, are going to have to bear a lot of the cost of it. We spend $3 billion a year fighting wildfires uh, at the federal level, and I just frankly don't think it's fair for uh, the taxpayer across the board to bear the responsibility for it. I think the market should, and I think that the users and those people that live uh, in these areas are going to have to pay additional assessments as well as higher premiums and insurance. Gary B, should government be able to tell you where to live? No, I, I, I don't think so, Brenda. I'm in agreement with Bernard. The market should dictate, and if you want to live in a place that's high risk, you should have to pay higher premiums and do this kind of things that John says. And, and the fact of the matter, Brenda, is it seems like there's less and less places in the country that are safe. I'm sure the people uh, a year or so ago in uh, New Jersey and Long Island thought they were safe until Hurricane Sandy came. Uh, there's flooding, uh, you know, just in the past few weeks in Alexandria, Virginia, along the Potomac. Uh, there's a, you know, Tornado right. Alley in the Midwest. So. You, can, you should be able to choose where you want to live. You right. just have to accept that there's going to be costs. Jonas. Well, I'm glad that was brought up because, like, my insurance in Connecticut has gone up, like, 40, 50 percent in a year just because of Sandy, and now it's considered a hurricane zone, Connecticut. But that's only part of the additional cost. The government is still now on the hook for the next Sandy. How does that mechanism, like, if it's going to be a free market, the government needs to tax the same people whose insurance also went up to cover their infrastructure cost right. that's going to be heightened in that area. So I don't think we're quite done with this problem. The insurance is only half the problem. The government's going to have to lay on taxes in these areas. Okay. Last word to Gary B. Well, it, look, again, uh, maybe Bernard and I are in violent agreement on this one. Let the market dictate and let people themselves assume their responsibility. Tracy? I don't know. What is so bad about the government saying, hey, this is national land and we're going to leave it that way? And maybe we could think about building homes in other parts that are just a little bit safer. Okay. Thanks, guys. This discussion will certainly continue. And thank you to Bernard for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks for suffering with me.